while in lockdown, I thought I'd run through some of the Taylor lures that I'm using at the moment. I'll just run through them in each of the different categories and then show a few of the catches. We'll start off with metals. The heaviest metal that I've got is a richer sea iron 60 gram. I'd use this in really windy conditions or when I'm trying to reach some reef off a big rock wall uh, which is right out. It's my best casting lure. The Savage Gear Missile. This is one of the gold star ones. I prefer the white flash but the pilchard colour one's pretty good too. This is a 28 gram one, which is a pretty good all-rounder. You'll catch herring, uh, tailor, snook, all sorts. I probably caught more tailor on this than any other lure. I've got the standard treble on this one at the moment, but I'll often put a 2.0 or a 3.0 single on the end. The smaller model, you can put a 1.0 as well if you want to go for herring. Another one for long casting is the candy bullet. It's really small profile and you can punch it right into the wind. This is probably better for Australian salmon than Taylor, uh, but it still works fine. Running a single to avoid the weed as well. A lure that really needs no introduction, the Halco Twisty. I'd usually use a 30 gram for the ocean and a 15 to 20 for the Swan River. The ones in my box, I've got a 20 gram here with a 2.0 hook on the end and then I've just got a 10 gram with the stock. I tend to use the gold in overcast conditions but they both work fine. I'd say a 10 gram twisty is the most efficient for catching little choppers in the uh, swan other than the savage gear or the uh, double clutch. Twisty will also get you some skippy, heaps of herring. I've even managed to catch a bloody crab. A good old twisty, eh? I'll take it! Now onto the stick baits. I've got the CID shiver sticks. This is a 120 mil one which I'll definitely just use for the beach. Um, this one here I use in the Swan River a lot. This is probably one of my go-to's at the moment. Um, you can rip it across the top or you can let it sink and it just has great action and it's not too expensive. Those that can get their hands on these know that they're the best tailor lure going around at the moment most likely. This and the zip bait boon. You can see at the front here, it's got uh, the toe point horizontal. That really helps it with its side to side slide across the top of the water. I like to throw these out early mornings, rip them across the top, and watch them absolutely get smashed. They come with pretty good trebles as well, and it's got the mag drive in it, which means you can cast them pretty far for a 25 gram lure. As seen in some of my recent videos, this little uh, Sid Shiver Stick. I bought it to chase giant herring, but I've caught some little choppers and a shitload of herring on it. Bass Day Sugar Pen. I bought this for whiting, but this is really good for the tailor in the swan as well. Just got to be careful. They're really expensive and they can get chopped off, so you probably want to take off the front treble. Now onto bib lures. My favourite is the Zip Bait Boon, but that's lost in some rocks at Trigger at the moment. One of the other good ones I go to is a CID Slim Bait. This is a 175 millimeter lure, so it's a pretty long lure, but surprisingly, you've actually caught some tailor in the swan with it. I've also caught some big bloody bull herring with it as well. Great lure to uh, tow behind the kayak as well. The go-to Swan River lure has to be the Daiwa Double Clutch. You pair this with some 4 pound line and a 2500 reel. Reeling it in, giving it rips here and there. Can't go wrong. Probably the best lure that you can use. In my opinion, obviously. I have the 70 or the 95 for Taylor.
The Daiwa Double Clutch has to be a Hall of Fame one. Especially for the estuary species. I've got some of my biggest brim and flathead on it as well. If you want a more detailed chat about how to catch tallow around Perth, I recently did a podcast with Greg Vinyl on the Australian Lure Fishing Podcast. Uh, a few different tips and tricks around the local area. I've just started using these. It's a richer plug. This one's in 60 gram or 2 ounce. You can cast them an absolute mile and the tail I love them. It's a little hard to keep them hooked on but I'm just learning at the moment. I'm sure I'll, I'll master that. I'll work out what hooks are going to be best for it. I like to use a fairly light setup even down at the beach. I've got a 3000 Shimano Nazgi and I've got 10 pound braid on it. I'll usually use 20 pound leader um, and then if I'm in the estuary I'll probably use 8 pound. Works fine. If I'm going up to Calberry or something like that you probably need to beef up a little bit more but Perth Metro perfect. For more Taylor and Perth Metro videos please subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section.